How you doing? Thanks for watching. This is George at Wicked Warnings here with a brand new 2020. And if you know what this symbol is on the ground, you might already know a thing or two about the Black Widow Edition GMC truck. Let me show you a little bit more about this truck. All right, here it is in its glory. Very cool. Matte flat gray paint probably military grade radar resistant so you can run as fast as you want i presume overall pretty sexy looking truck this is a 2020 gmc sierra 1500 it is a special edition black widow as they call it it is built by a company called sca performance and then offered at local dealers. So if you do like the look of this, you're going to want to look up Black Widow or SCA. We'll tag them in this video as well and put the link down below. And after purchase, customer has brought it here for a little bit of the Wicked Warnings touch. So let's talk about what we've done to the vehicle. One of the first things that you'll pick up when you apply the parking light switch is that in the front grille there, we have a Baja Designs 20-inch S8 style off-road bar. Now those bars come with a backlight feature in amber as you can see this bar is white as you can see when activated nice and bright white but when it's in parking and the bar is not turned on we've tied that backlight feature into the parking circuit of the truck so we have a slight amber led inside of that bar as you can see here and that illuminates again with the parking circuit. That's not something we added to the Baja bar, that's just something that's factory included in the Baja, Baja bar. The brackets were custom made here in our shop and they're not yet available for purchase to mount this into the grill. So as of right now, I hope you're listening, that you need to come to our shop to get this particular install. And if we make any changes with the brackets, we'll let you know, otherwise send an email in if you want specific information about this. Here you can kind of see a little bit of the bracket there, how we had to custom make that. It's an aluminum piece, and that way it uh, allows the bar to be tucked up into the grill. Fairly flush, as you can see here. I'm going to try to make the brackets, but no promises. Just above that, you can see right here next to the GMC, we have our Razor LED strobe light. That's an amber white strobe light. And we are using the included 90 degree bracket to mount that by loosening up the top of the grill. You're able to mount that, bracket, mount that light right there on each side of the front GMC logo as we did here. We've got some other custom touches added to this truck as well, including the full two piece upper windshield visor light bar. That one's made by Phoenix Industries and will be on the website soon. That's a fusion dual color, amber and white light bar in the top of the windshield there. And below it is our razors mounted in the grill. That's a Wicked Warnings razor strobe light, all of which are tied into a flood mode, as you can see. So when you turn on the flood mode switch, there you go. You can see that those lights go steady white. All righty, now time for the show. So as you can see here, we've got an amber and white dual visor bar in the top of the windshield there. That's a specific mount for the 2020 trucks. So it is custom fit to the windshield and to the visors for this particular truck. We're also running our auto flasher module on the mirrors, as well as the DRLs and the headlights, as you can see, and the fog lights below that. The razors are synchronized to flash together in amber white. And as I darken it up here, I'll let you kind of see the display of the lights with the ISO all the way down, just so you can get an idea of what they actually look like in person. And uh, then of course, when I return the ISO to just regular standard camera view, I know it washes out a little bit. So here's a little better view here from the side. Um, I think we can get kind of a, a little clearer picture of how everything's working. There we go, we'll try this like this. That's pretty good right about there. So you can see the alternation on the front. What we have is an X pattern from uh, the DRLs and the fog lights. They're both running an auto flasher module. And we also have an auto flasher module on the mirrors and the full visor in the front windshield. This is all controlled off of our Mini 6 controller. And uh, right now you're seeing front warning. And as you see, if we 
enable the front flood switch. Then we're going to steady burn the visor lights, the mirrors, and the grill lights. I wanted to leave the DRL in the fog off of the steady burn simply because, as you see, if he wanted to have his fr front flood enabled and still have some warning, this is achieved because we, we left the DRL and the fog in there. Uh, so we can have this mode with the flood and the warning, this mode with just the flood and factory parking lights, and once again, this mode with just full front warning active. Here you can see that X pattern a little bit better. These DRLs are extremely bright. Um, they're very, very impressive in person. As you can see when I return the camera, they're nice and bright and well worth the effort to do them. And there you go. We just threw the searchlight on for fun. Of course, it completely washes everything out until we turn it all the way down like that. But, uh, now let's pull it forward, show you a little bit about the back end of the truck and what we did back there. Alrighty, just to give you a little peek about what we have going around the back. As you can see on the lock, we have that nice under tailgate bar in red and white. As you can see on the unlock, it comes on in white as well with the reverse lights or with the unlock feature. So that was the first thing that we added to the rear of this truck. Some of the other things we added are seen here. We've got our auto flasher module on the cargo spoiler style cargo light. That's accessed right in the passenger dashboard area and you cannot alternate that light. What you see, both of them flashing together, is what you get. As of right now, there is no way to alternate that third brake light, but we do have the auto flasher kit to flash it simultaneously as you see. Now on the reverse lights, you can alternate we chose not to because we're matching up with the cargo. We have the same pattern, not synchronized on purpose for the reverse and the cargo. I wanted to keep a little bit of variation and as this continues to display, the cargo and the reverse will fall a little bit in and out of sync with each other. It'll kind of change it up a little bit. So, but you can see they're both set on the same pattern there. Below the reverse, we have our Lin 6. I bet you didn't even notice those because they were smoked. We did put a little bit of lens tinting on them and a couple coats of the 2K clear, automotive clear, to protect them and uh, smoke them out, put them right there in the step pocket. We have those on a very fast triple flash alternation. I believe that might be 120 FPS or greater. Uh, could also be 180 FPS alternation. In the back window, you can see our Thin X TIR series. That's a six inch TIR style thin light that we're using the bracket to mount to the back window trim and it puts it right in front of the back window. You can also mount that with clear VHB tape if you prefer. Don't forget the Primer 94 adhesion promoter first. Or we now have brackets for those Thin-X lights that you're seeing in the rear window. Here's a little off axis view for it. I'll go ahead and shut the shop lights off just for the heck of it. I think with the added amber in the steps and the amber in the back window, as you can see here, I think it's a nice combination. I don't think that uh, it's too out of balance back here. We've got a lot of bright amber and white right down at the lower level, and then up high we also have some amber and white. I really kind of like how this truck turned out. The other thing I forgot to mention earlier was some trail lights that we added to this truck also. We've got one in each wheel well. It's a dual headed white light, so there's actually two lights per se in each wheel well. And we also have two under each side, uh, basically centered kind of in the middle of the doors. And they're all pointed down to light up the ground under the truck. As you can see here, customer wanted that cool underglow look, so that's exactly what we gave him in a nice white light. And uh, that way he can see everything that could be underneath the truck while he's out on the trail. As you can see by the static strap uh, under the truck, if you know what that is, uh, then you know where this guy might be going. And uh, the trails that he rides aren't always paved and pretty. Here's the other side of it. You can see a little bit better there. Uh, light cascades out from the sides. We got it to extend as far out as we could without having to bend up a bracket and make the light visible and kind of ugly looking. They are tucked up way underneath there very nicely. 
There's the tire view. You can see those big monster meats. Here you go up front. Now the parking lights are on right now, but these lights are independent. So as you can see, if you simply want the rock lights and nothing more, then that's all you shall have, sir. Show you a little bit on the inside. All right, here in the cab, we tried to keep it real simple. What we've got here, and I'll back up a little, there you go, is our Mini 6 controller. It's mounted right there, left of the steering wheel, below the grab bar, above all your factory switches. It's backlit in green, comes with a whole bunch of legends. And as you can see, what we're using here on his particular build, Searchlight does the Baja in the grill, Front Flood does that white flood in the front. Your pattern changer is, of course, meant to change the pattern on your visor bar. And as you can see, trail lights is illuminated right now because they were on. We've got our rear lights and our front lights, which is our strobe modes for both of those, as you can see the flashing up front. And then again, as I said, trail lights. The way this controller works is uh, fairly nice too. If you have multiple switches on like that and you want to kill everything with one button, you can just go ahead and press the middle. It'll kill everything. You go ahead and press it one more time. You can put it into completely off dark mode. Or if you want to just have it on standby, you can leave it that way as well. Minimal draw. Just for those who like to know the technical specs, this entire system, front and back, draws 4.2 amps total. So I, I didn't uh, individually measure each channel, but I could, I guess, on the next video. If you want me to do that, throw a comment in, and I'll start individually measuring every channel and letting you know what everything draws. And, of course, the pattern changer would draw zero, but you know how that goes. So... Here's a little bit of a out view of the visors. This is how they're gonna mount. They go right up in there behind your factory clips. No drill, no damage, no BS. They fit pretty nice. They tuck up nicely. Got a little jumper wire goes across to the other one. And then the power feeds down the passenger side there. So I'm a fan of these visors. Uh, we're gonna be using them more and more here in future builds. So uh, if you want any, let me know. They will be on the website soon, but they're probably not currently there. Thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings. I hope you enjoyed this video. Drop a comment, let us know how you liked this Black Widow edition. Here, I'll give you a little shot of the gauge here. Let's uh, key it up for you so you can see what she does. Okay. Uh, I thought they did their little thing where they, let's see, start it, uh, let me see if I start it, what it'll do for you. Alright, thanks again for watching, we'll see you soon. I'm just kidding, here's what it looks like. Alright, thanks guys, I'll catch you later.